Hey Toy Buggies, it's Eva with Toy Bug Toys and today we are going to be opening a giant Play-Doh surprise egg of the Power Rangers Dino Charge Green Ranger. And now uh, first we have this action figure which didn't fit inside the surprise egg so we're going to open that first. comes with a gun. And a sword. And he's very poseable. Has a little shoulder guard flap there. His head spins. This is probably one of the most posable uh, figures that I've seen in a long time. And they can have the sword in this hand and the gun in this one even. I imagine if they wanted it. Or either or. So here's our Green Ranger. And on the back of the package it gives us a lot of information about the Green Ranger and it has all the different ones that you can collect. But today it's all about the Green Ranger. So let's set him up. So first of all, this egg took me about an hour or a little over an hour to make. I used a lot of green Play-Doh. I mixed green with some teal and then some lime green and white to get the color green that I wanted. Um, and then I used black, of course, for the face mask and gold for the dinosaur teeth going around the edge and white. And then I used a little black and white to make a little silver. Uh, and then you can't forget it has the dino eyes up here. They look really scary. Uh, so this is a really, really neat Power Ranger and it was really fun to make. But there's really cool stuff inside that I want to get to. So let's tear into this thing. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff in here. All right, already it looks really awesome. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, we got some Star Wars, we got minifigures, uh, minions, Playmobil, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so let's open up a Star Wars first. Let's open up this one. These are Series 1 Star Wars Micro Machines. And of course they're coming out now because of the new movie. So let's see which one we have. All right. We've got an X-Wing fighter. Now these aren't very poseable. They're not very movable. Um, they're painted fairly detailed for as small as they are, but they don't move. Um, what they are is what they are. But it's still pretty neat. You can see the detail. And there it is, the X-Wing fighter. I'm gonna put him over here. All right, let's open up this minion next. This is a Minion Surprise. And I went with this one over the um, other Minion Surprise because I wanted to make sure that we got a Minion. And the other ones you could get other characters from the movie, but I wanted to make sure we got a Minion. So let's see, there's a lot you can collect. I think we've gotten this one before. Uh, so really, I don't, oh, and the pirate one. Other than those two, I guess I don't really care which ones we get because as long as it's a different one than before. Minions have been putting in this little piece of cardboard inside so that you can't feel around and see what it is. And we got this guy. This says his name is Kevin. So here is Minion Kevin. He doesn't look too interested that he's inside the Minion surprise bag, but we're pretty excited that we have him. Stand him up on his base. And there he is. There's Minion Kevin. All right, let's see, let's see. I want to do one of these. This, this is a uh, Minecraft minifigure, Series 3. And these have a few different ones. I don't think we've ever gotten any of these ones pictured. So I'll be happy with whatever we get. Let's see. 
All right, I got this kind of skeleton dog thing just in time for Halloween. There he is, skeleton horse. You can see we have the skeleton horse. He's kind of soft and um, uh, you can kind of move him around, but he's not poseable or anything. But he seems to stand up pretty well for his feet looking so crooked. So here is our skeleton horse. Very creepy. All right, let's do one of these Playmobiles. These are pretty neat. We've gotten this guy before twice on the channel. Um, we've gotten this guy and I think him. And that's about it. So hopefully we don't have a three-peat of this, this space guy right here. This is Series 8 uh, Playmobil minifigures. Oh my gosh. We got the same guy again. Now I like this guy, don't get me wrong, but I've already got two of them. Well, I should at least be pretty good at putting them together, right? For some reason, we got three body bodies, like inner core pieces. We really only need one. All right, so we got Space Age Conan O'Brien again. And here he is with his gun blaster, ice blaster, <clears throat> in a space suit. Well, there he is. Now we have another Playmobil bag in this. Um, and this surprise it, because I really, really hope we don't get four of this guy. All right, let's see, let's see. All right, I've been wanting to open this one since the second we got it. This is How to Train Your Dragon 2 vinyl figure. It's from Funko and it's one of their vinyl mystery minis. I'm really hoping we get a toothless, but um, hey, as long as it's not this guy, I don't care. <laughs> so there's a fair shot of getting all of them because it's a 1 in 12 chance of getting each, I guess including the mystery one, uh, which looks like toothless. And let's see, we can get one of two different hiccups. Uh, three Toothlesses, Mystery Toothless, uh, and then we have some of the other dragons. Alright! We got Toothless! Awesome! Toothless is here with his special tail. His spikes, that, that hiccup just figured out how to make work uh, in the second movie. And here he is, there's Toothless. He looks angry. Pick up the seats not on him. So we got this this little hiccup right here. Or this toothless right here. Pretty cool. Well, I'm glad we got a toothless. Alright, let's see. Let's open up this other Star Wars micro machines. Uh, we got this one already today. So let's see, maybe we'll get the N1 Starfighter. Oh, we got the Stormtrooper guy. We got him last time. Uh, let's see, there's 12 to collect, so uh, we've opened up four and gotten a repeat once. Uh, so here's a Stormtrooper on his little, I don't know if it's a Tauntaun or what that is. Uh, but there he is, and he's got this huge gun zapper thing in the backpack. Painted pretty detailed. But again, like the other micro machine, it doesn't move or anything. It's just how it is. All right, let's do this other minifigure. Oh, this is kind of cool. Let's see where he's at on the box. There he is, the Wither Skeleton. That's a pretty neat one. Oh, there he is, the wither skeleton. Rawr. He looks pretty neat. He's very blocky, but that's how Minecraft works. So let's put him right here. All right, let's do these that are just in time for Halloween. 
These are Lego minifigures, series 14. There's 16 different ones to collect. Uh, and they're, they all basically have this like Halloween theme. Um, the ones that we've gotten are, is this bug with the wings. And we've gotten the skeleton guy and that's all. We've only opened two. I'm kind of open for this guy because I kind of like that he has like a double sized Lego head. Or uh, Frankenstein would be pretty neat. Or the ghost because I think the ghost looks a lot like uh, the ghosts in um, Ninjago. So I could play with that with the Ninjago toys too. But let's see what we hit. I think we got her, this little zombie cheerleader right here, number eight. So let's go ahead and get her put together. All right, here she is, uh, cheering on the zombies, I guess. Um, she's kind of creepy looking, but that's the, ha the point of the Halloween <laughs> minifigure set. Uh, cheering for the zombies and she's a zombie cheerleader. Do they just root and hope that the their team doesn't eat the other team or how does that work? So there she is. And here's the other ones that you can collect. I think a lot of these would be neat to have. I'd like to have that ghost and the scientist. Frankenstein would be neat. Well, we're just going to have to get more of them and try to collect more. Here's the other side of the sheet to show you how to put things together. And it looks like it comes with a code. You can unlock your minifigure in-game. Uh, that's for the minifigures online. So I guess every time you buy one of these little minifigures, you get a code, which is pretty neat. Alright, we've got one more Playmobil minifigure. And I'm just really hoping it's not this guy. Anybody but that guy. Oh my gosh. Only on Toy Bug Toys does this happen. Alright, well I know that's kind of like what you get when you do blind bags and blind boxes. But I'm a little disappointed that out of two different trips to the store and buying four or five of these, I got the same one every time. So the last thing in our egg is some slime. We've got green and orange. Green, of course, because it's the Green Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. And orange just because I thought I saw a dino putty and I thought that looked cool since we we're doing dinosaurs. So this is a really neat um, putty that you can get from the store. It's like very crystally, um, it's very clear. It's almost more like a gel, Play-Doh kind of a thing. It doesn't really turn slimy until you really kind of get it heated up. And uh, you can kind of stretch it out, look through it like glass. And it's pretty fun to play with. Uh, if you don't have anything to do with your hands, it's pretty fun. And when you get it heated up, then it becomes more like slime. We hope you guys have had a fun time here with us today, and I hope you buzz on back. We're going to be doing uh, a pink Power Ranger soon, and we've got a bunch of different types of um, pink uh, toys. You know, we got Pet Shop and all these different uh, fun, girly blind bags and blind boxes, so we're going to be opening those up um, soon, within the next day or two, hopefully. And so buzz on back and join us again for some fun. And Toothless says thanks for watching Toy Bug Toys.